Tinubu's deal with Miyeti Allah dead on arrival, TYO said. Benue people will reject the evil agenda. TV Youth Organization, TYO, has said that the purported deal made by presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Mr. Bola Tinubu, to assist henchmen realized their agenda over the people if he wins the presidential 2023 election is dead on arrival and would be resisted by all Benue people. Wow. The President General of TYO, TV Youth Organization Worldwide, Timothy Hembao, stated this while reacting to a statement from the National Secretary of the Miyeti Allah Kautal, Kautal Saleh Hassan, in which he said that they have struck a deal with the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu that he will support their long term agenda of conquest if elected president of Nigeria come 2023. Can you imagine? The youth who described the statement as unbelievably shocking said it is on record that Bola Tinubu met with the leadership of Mieti Ala Kautar Hall in Mina, Niger State, and promised to meet all the demands of the militia group and if the support is bid for power in the elections coming up next year. The youths in the statement noted that the group's national secretary explained further that they endorsed the former Lagos state governor because he promised to address the issue around the livestock intervention program and the retrieval of the 450 grazing routes across the country. Hembao, in a statement, said the people of Benue and other Nigerians will rise and reject the grazing route Tinubu has promised Mieti Allah Kautar Hall adding that the design to turn Nigeria into an emirate will never see the light of the day. Wow. Naturally, the thieves are in central Nigeria, and while grazing routes can be established up north, the routes will not be allowed to pass through Benue State. We are sure that our brethren from the southeast will support us to resist the evil journey that is knocking on our door. Bolatinubu must know that the quest to divide our land to offer safe passage to Marudin Fulani may be the final straw that will bury his presidential ambition. He will have to kill every thief person to make it happen in our land. He told those campaigning for Tinubu and Mieti Allah in Benue State that the people are waiting for them at the polls. The 2023 election in Benue State will be a vote for our survivor. Our enemies have come out to show their faces and we will round, roundly reject them and their apostles in the state. He noted that TV youths worldwide have nothing personal against Tinubu, saying they are concerned about who has the interest of the people at heart. They insisted we will not vote for someone who will take our lands and hand to terrorists. We are ready to be the children of our ancestors. That means they are ready to fight it. It is good to know that Tinubu has not hidden his plan to give us Buhari, hook, line, and sinker. Our duty is to tell our people and other Nigerians to beware, get up their loins, and prepare for a long battle for their survival. The APC presidential candidate is in bed with their worst enemy, he said. Wow. So this is what Tinubu promised the Mieti Allah group in Niger State that he will help them to achieve their long-term agenda. And what is uh, Fulani's long-term agenda? First is to make their livestock business the primary business in Nigeria, and then to create a ministry of livestock for them, and then to retrieve 450 grazing routes in the whole Nigeria, both north and south. Who created the grazing route? And that is dividing and handing over portions of the land that belongs to the community and handing them over to the to the to the Mieti Allah people to use. Because that is actually what the Fulanis want to establish their caliphate in Nigeria. It's a long-term agenda started by Usman Danfodio. The history is there, the record is there. So Tinubu has 
gone into a secret agreement with the Fulani, promising them that they will help you will help them to realize that agenda. And that agenda is only Nigeria. If you look at their logo, you see how they, uh, they portion all parts of Nigeria and put Fulani people in all the regions to prove to Nigerians that they own Nigeria. We need to look for that map and put in this, um, in this uh, uh, video so that you will see how they have mapped out Nigeria and put themselves in all the regions, meaning that they own Nigeria. And that is how and uh, why they wanted to install their emirs in all the states in Nigeria. All right? It's just that some states vehemently refused it, and that is why it has not worked. But they, I know it, they did it in Imo State, because the governor of Imo State, and I'm sure they must have done it in uh, Bonny State, those people are, are already in the pocket of the Fulanese, all right, through the APC party agenda. So, and then... Um, by the time Tudubu gets into power, it means that he's going to hand over um, all of the Nigerian uh, uh, village lands to the Fulanese. And what the TV youths are saying here is that they will never allow that to happen. That, and that warning the people campaigning for P APC in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, sorry, Benue State to know that they are ready for them. To know that they will not allow that to happen because that will be the last straw that will destroy the camels back. They said and they promised to live up to their ancestors, ancestors' standard. They will prove they are the children of their ancestors. It means that they are ready for war. All right? They will do it with all their blood. They, they've told Tinubu and the Fulanese and the APC that they will have to kill every thief person to be able to achieve that. It means that they are ready to fight it with their bare hands because. We can, they cannot live and watch their land parceled out to the Fulanese who just came from nowhere and want to take over everywhere in Nigeria. And they are, they are also hoping that other people from the south, southeast, southwest and south-south Nigeria and the other part of the Middle Belt will support them to make sure they don't allow APC and Fulani to get their agenda. Because Tinubu had already said that he will start from wherever Buhari stopped. And that means he will continue the Fulani agenda. That is what it means. So anybody that knows what is good for himself and for his village and for his community should make sure that they don't have to vote him because this is exactly what his plans are, all right, to help the Fulani to achieve their long-term agenda, which is Fulanization and Islamization, turning Nigeria to Islamic caliphate. All right, against the wish of all the ethnic groups in Nigeria, without iota of respect uh, for the culture and religion of other ethnic groups in Nigeria, that is not going to be allowed. So this is a warning. This is a a call, a clarion call to all the ethnic groups in Nigeria that this is the plan and this is the agreement that Tinubu has signed with the Fulanese in Nigeria. We have been saying this for long. That is one comment somebody is making here. We have been saying this for long. Tinubu is desperate to be president and nothing more. The same Tinubu who once said he doesn't believe in one Nigeria and also opposed open grazing and grazing route. He came out to strike a deal which was rejected by all corners of the country just because of his personal ambition. Nigerians, shine your eyes for this man called Tinubu. He is a devil and not a democrat. All right? Omo Aleni, Yoruba man wrote this thing. You see, leave Tinubu alone. Let him make covenant with devil and hell. He has failed already. We are serving a living God who put one to position. The whole nation make, all right, uh, should not vote him, but will not get there in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody is writing there. All right. The way Tinubu is behaving as if he has won the presidential election already says it all. It is because of his agreement with the Fulani, and he wouldn't mind selling the whole southern Nigeria to the north. May God save us from BAT. You see, Tinubu is just too desperate. They want Nigeria to catch fire. They want Nigeria to catch fire. That's what somebody is saying here. Nigeria should be very mindful of Tinubu. He's willing to sell any part of the country to actualize his self-centered dream. We must unite irrespective of our fault lines to stop him. 
Tinubu have changed his name from Baptist to Bandit. Can you imagine? So we are seeing what we are seeing here. Everybody is saying the same thing that this guy is so desperate that he's ready to sell everybody, all right, to get what he wants. So he has entered secret deals with the Northerners, especially the Fulani, the outside Fulanese, to do to help him to win election so that he will help them to achieve their long year planned agenda. And that is not going to work. Thank God is exposed now. We must all rise up to it, especially during the election, to make sure we don't vote him. And even after the elections, to continue to stand against the fulanization and Islamization agenda in Nigeria. So thank you for listening. And let's have your comment below for sharing. This is a Clarion call. Let everybody be aware that this is Tinubu's plan with the Fulanese come 2023 election.